This video will show you how to make a fluid follow a path in Blender. Please watch it to the very end. In the description of this video, I've already put a link for you to download the model file we are going to use in this tutorial. When you open Blender, first press Delete to delete the default cube. Click here on Files then go to Append and Browse for the model file you've just downloaded. Click on it to open it then click on Mesh to open it. Select this cube then click on Append to append it. Select it then click on this X to go to a side view then press G then Z and move it up up to this level. Now click on this icon and change this area from 3D viewport to preferences. Go to add-ons then click on this search box and type an extra. Click on this box to activate add curve extra objects add-on. Now click on this icon again and switch this area back to the 3D viewport. Press Shift to then go to Curve then Curve Spirals and add an Archimedean Spiral. Come down here and click on this drop-down arrow to expand on these settings. Click here on Radius and increase it to 3 then increase the height to 1.9 as well. Come up here on Turns and increase them to 3 then readjust the height to 1.81. Increase these steps to 30 to make the curve smoother. Now press Tab to go to the Object Mode. Press Shift to then go to Mesh and add a cube. Click on this X to go to a side view then press S then Z then 0.2 to scale it down by 0.2. Press G then Z and move it up to this level along the Z. Now press Shift to then go to Mesh and add another cube. Click on this X to go to a side view then press S then 4 to scale it up by 4. Click on this icon to activate X-ray visibility then press G then Z and move it up making sure it covers all the objects. Select this cube then come to the physics properties and click here on fluid to add a fluid physics to it. Change the type to domain and change the domain type to liquid. Select this other cube then come back to the physics properties then click on fluid to add a fluid physics to it. Change the type to flow then the flow type to liquid. Select this can as well then come to the physics properties then click on fluid to add a fluid physics to it. Change its type to effector then scroll down and activate as planar. Now select this cube and come back to the physics properties then scroll down to mesh and click on this box to activate it. Now if you play it you can see the fluid coming out. Click on this icon to deactivate x-ray visibility then come to the timeline then go back to the first frame. Select this curve then come to the physics properties and click on force fields to add a force field to it. Click here under shape and change it from point to curve. If you play it now you can see the fluid flowing to the side. So come back to the physics properties and reduce its strength to minus 9. Now if you play it you can see it getting to the curve but it seems very unstable. To fix that come back to the physics properties and increase this flow to 1.1. Now if you play it you can see the fluid moving along the curve. To make it look a bit rough and wave-like, come to the physics properties and increase on this noise amount. Now if you play it you can see it coming out well. Select this fluid then come to the physics properties and increase on its resolution to 96 or a higher number of your liking. Scroll down to cache and change this type from replay to all. Activate as resumable then click on bake all to bake the simulation. Now if you play it, you can see it coming out perfectly. So go to Object and select Shade Smooth by Angle. And now we're done. You can go ahead to work on your scene further in Render. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial up to now, I really appreciate. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.